The full interview is when you give full details about your asylum claim. You have to explain about your sexual orientation or gender identity, and you have to explain to the Home Office why you are scared to go back to your country. This is your chance to present your case to the Home Office, and it is very important that you are well prepared, because the interview can be very stressful, and it may also be quite long. It usually lasts about three to four hours. Once you are in the room, time will fly, but it's important that you prepare in advance and you know exactly how to explain your story. And you will be in a room with an interviewing officer and possibly an interpreter if you have requested one. You will have to uh, prepare in advance of the interview to make sure that you know your story and you know how to say it. Um, obviously, this is your story, it's your experience, so you would know it very well. But one thing is to know it and one thing is to know how to explain it to somebody. So it's very important to prepare uh, in advance of the interview with your lawyer if you have one. During the interview, if you feel uncomfortable in any way, you can ask for a break. If you need a glass of water or you just need a breather, you can ask so. You will be asked different questions about your sexual orientation, etc. It's important that you give detailed answers, even if you may feel uncomfortable to discuss personal questions. If there is something like a traumatic event um, or anything really bad happened to you and you don't feel comfortable discussing that, just say so. It's important that you do not guess dates or events. If you don't remember, just say you don't remember. If you're stressed, just say you're stressed. The Home Office should, shouldn't ask you any sexually explicit question, but it's up to you to volunteer information about whether, for example, you had a sexual encounter or romantic experience. But the Home Office shouldn't probe and ask further questions about that, because that's not about being LGBTQI. If you have uh, an interpreter, uh, during the interview, you have to make sure that you and the interpreter understand each other. Uh, it is possible for you to request an interpreter before the interview. The request has to be made in advance by your lawyer or by yourself if you don't have any lawyer, and there should be somebody there. You may feel uncomfortable to have an interpreter from your own community, uh, but you shouldn't worry about that because usually interpreters, they are professional persons and they're not there to judge you, but they're just there to translate for you. However, if you feel particularly uncomfortable for any specific reason, discuss with your, with your lawyer in advance or explain to the immigration officer during the day. During the interview, you will explain your story and you will be asked at the end if you've got any other comments. So if anything went wrong uh, and you felt intimidated or uncomfortable, that's your opportunity to say so. Anything you say during the interview should be recorded by the interviewing officer and at the end you will be given a copy of the interview records, so you can bring it to your lawyer and discuss whatever happens. In fact, when your interview is finished, you will have five days to prepare any letter with your lawyer that you want to send to the Home Office to amend any errors and rectify any mistake. After the interview, the Home Office will take a decision on your case.